Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we do have a bunch of updates, some new content coming out, and some new stuff as well. I do have the screenshots for all of it. But before we get into everything, guys, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, come join the family, like the video, and of course, if you need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, Crayola was not around today, we did get Mad Mobile Nick, and Mad Mobile Nick typically handles things a bit differently. Honestly, I like it sometimes, it's a nice change of pace, specifically because Mad Mobile Nick goes through it a bit faster, they don't always drag it out, which is the only thing, like, nothing nothing wrong with Crayola, but the only thing is that... I feel as though they have a Good Morning Madden has like a time restriction. Like, okay, you need to have everyone there for at least 15 minutes. Because there are some days where there's that one thing to be said like today. And we don't get to that till like 10.45. Meanwhile, by 10.35, we're done in the Madden mobile segment. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, we do have some videos, some content come today, surprisingly. I think this is the surprise content they were referring to yesterday. Now, he said later this week. But I guess I guess he, he had an idea it could be today. But he didn't want to say it in case it wasn't today. And then we all rioted. So... We will have, we, it is coming today, I believe, around 1 to 2 p.m. later this afternoon. Um, again, it could be delayed. You know, this stuff goes. It may end up seeing it tomorrow with the delay, but hopefully, hopefully all goes as planned. But we do have some stuff to go over, have some screenshots and some other stuff as well, some new updates. So let's head on over to that screenshot. The reminders and updates, the typical stuff with some new stuff added as well. So first off, Team of the Week, Wildcard Wednesday and LTDs will resume next week. We've known that. That's the regular stuff. Open Weekend League this weekend. That's important for a lot of people who want to play Weekend League. I did go over that in my other video today. Gridiron Notes. Check out the latest Gridiron notes releasing later today, highlighting details on the second franchise planned update. Later this week now, on top of all that, as far as the second franchise updates, I'm actually pretty excited for that. I do play franchise a lot, so this is a pretty exciting update for myself and for probably a lot of others. Now remember, these Gridiron notes aren't going to be primarily just franchise, but remember, we get Gridiron notes every other week, so... But we only got one big franchise update already, and there's a second one, so I guess in terms of they're saying highlighting, because that's a big deal, right? Most of our Gridiron notes include... Mutt, they include regs, uh, reg teams, X Factor. But this one includes a franchise update, which is one of the bigger things that they've been trying to do this year. So, highlighting it, but there's going to be a lot of probably Mutt stuff in there as well. Solo battles. People were complaining about the solo battle scores are tracking correctly on the back end, despite the leaderboard being visual reset. This means you will receive correct rewards in games you previously played this week are counting towards your progress. People were complaining because solo battles were having an issue, but apparently it wasn't really an issue. It was more, it was just a visual thing, but it's still counting. So, Everyone who had that issue should be good now to go. So hopefully you guys are, you know, getting back to your solo battle grind if that is what you can currently do. Hopefully, hopefully. But I'm I'm really excited for the franchise gridiron notes. So that will be coming later this week. I'll show you guys all the patch notes for that in just a second. And guys, the new content tonight is new campus heroes released later this afternoon. Follow EA Sports underscore Mutt to know when release goes live in game. Now we're getting campus heroes. So the first campus hero uh, release was good. But the overalls were lackluster. I'm hoping they match the overalls a bit more now. Now, the only thing that I'm concerned about is going to be how many in the overalls, right? That's kind of what we're focused on here. Because, you know, Campus Heroes and Essence are cool, but we need some stuff with it. Now, they say this afternoon, I don't know when that could exactly be, like I said, because it could be 1, it could be 12, it could be 2, it could be 3, it could be it could be tomorrow. Like, you know how this stuff goes. But Campus Heroes will be releasing today. Hopefully you guys are excited for this. Hopefully you guys are going to be checking this out when this does all drop. Of course, you guys know how this stuff goes, though. So don't don't, don't get too excited until we know, you know, exact the details on the situation. But overall, campus heroes are cool. Now, you know, there's some players we could be expecting here, like Johnny Mansell. We could be expecting, and we had Tebow last time. We could be expecting maybe, maybe Mansell. An RG3 at Baylor would be super cool, since they don't want to give us an RG3 any other way. You know, any, there's plenty of good college cards. There's so many good college cards. Again, the co college cards, don't. here's the thing, the NFL has so many players that I've ever played, and most of those players were good college players. Not to mention, there's been greater college players that just never made it well in the NFL. You know, like, there's the guys who were complete bust in the NFL. Even, like, a Winston and Mariota, who borderline are pretty much bust. Well, they are. They've been bust in the NFL at their pick position, but they were good college players. Like, you can even get players like a Mariota, you know. There's plenty of good guys you could potentially get out of this. Manziel being one of the more fun ones. You can get a Baker Mayfield, Oklahoma. A lot, a lot of good ways to go with this, but overall, I am excited for the updates. I am excited for, um, of course, the Campus Heroes. Again, I hope they do the overalls. Like, I think they should at least do a 93, 94. Like, they can't be giving us low 90s or 89s. Like, they got to be giving us. Well, well, my ideally, 
95s. 95s and they're usable. 94s and they're borderline. Anything lower and it's just a waste of time. So that's the thing. I, I hate when they do that too. They like, you know, oh, we got some exciting stuff. You know, how oh, guys, so they get all released as I was recording this. So perfect. We'll fit this into the second half of the video. Hopefully you guys are excited for this. So the first card we do have is Tommy Harris, defensive tackle for the Chicago Bears. Let's see. Decent athleticism. Great block shot, great strength, great power move. He's enough finesse. Well, honestly, he's a pretty good defensive tackle. And we got 95 overalls, so that means that these cards are going to be pretty good. Because the highest overalls in the game are really only 96, 97, so not bad. Vince Young, quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. This is actually an exciting one. 90 speed, 94 throw power, 92 short, 89 medium, 90 deep. Hold up. So with play fake, Vince Young's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in this game. Vince Young's actually really good. A nice Vince Young card is cool to see. Ahmad Brooks, loves us a linebacker for the Bengals. 91 speed, 93 excel, great. 92 power move, great. 91 block shot, great. He's going to be one of the best outside linebackers in the game as well. Okay, hold up. Campus here is maybe a dub. Bill Frelick, right guard. All mid to low, mid-low 90s. Decent all around. Ahmad Brooks again. Bill Frelick again. Okay, double screenshot of those. Billy Sims, running back. 92 speed, 95 excel, not bad. 95 change of direction. Going to be a slower Barry Sanders, not great. Corey Moore, right end, 87 speed, 93 block shot, 95 finesse move. Great card overall because, of course, he will be able to get 99 finesse move. He will get a great block shot, and he's already super fast. DeBrickishaw Ferguson, one of the hometown left tackles. I'm not a Jets fan, but he is from New York. Oh, let's see. Great pass blocking and good enough run blocking. I'll take him. D'Angelo Hall, 94 speed, 93 excel, 95 zone, 90 uh, man coverage. Okay, going to be like going to be pretty much a Deion sanders s card. We'll have 99 zone. The press will be lackluster. And the speed slightly slower. Hugh Green, right outside linebacker for the Miami Dolphins. 92 speed, 93 excel. Crazy good. 93 finesse move, 91 block shot. Oh my god. What are all these crazy speed pass rushers right now that can also run stuff? Jack Ham, right outside linebacker for the Chicago. Oh, sorry. Chicago Bears. I mean the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know that. I knew that. I was reading the C. I thought it was that. 92 block shot, 89 power move, 81 finesse, 89 speed. So, overall, good run stuffer, decent pass rusher. Not as good as the other ones. Kyle Brady, tight end for the Jaguars. Great run blocking. I actually like Kyle Brady a lot here because I wouldn't really use him as a tight end. But in two or three tight end sets, he's great because you're most likely running. And if you do have to audible to a pass, he can still catch a pass for you. And still route run good enough. LeVar Arrington. Up that's a linebacker for the Redskins, or the Washington football team, I should say now. Back then it was, not anymore. 91 speed, 93 excel, 92 block shed, 93 power move. Great pass rusher, great run stuff, great speed again. All these outside linebackers are essentially the same. Lincoln Kennedy, great run blocker at right tackle, great pass blocker at right tackle, all around great. Lori Malloy for the Patriots, 91 speed, 93 excel, 92 zone, 93 power. Going to be like a budgety version of Sean Taylor, not going to hit the 99 zone. Slightly less of power, slightly less speed. Not bad, though. Marcel Reese, 92 speed fullback. Now, that's good. That's a good card because he's going to get the crazy blocking. And the issue is fullbacks get the crazy blocking, but they can't they can't stay ahead of your running back. They're too slow. Marcel Reese will stay ahead because a head start is... The thing is, like, an 84 speed won't stay ahead because there's, like, a 14 speed difference, you know what I mean? Like, or an 80 speed. But having only a 2-3 two, two to three speed difference to your running back will mean that Marcel Reese will have a good lead and be able to kill whoever they're lead blocking on. Quinton Jammer, cornerback for the Chargers, 93 speed, 94 is a man. We'll get to 99 zone, I believe. 91, sorry, 90, 99 man. We'll get to about mid-95, 96 zone. Good press. Going to be an all-around good corner. Rondé Barber for the Buccaneers. Speed is not too great. The issue here is that he's going to be a good coverage guy, but his speed is going to be too slow to really take advantage right now. Roy Williams, strong safety for the Cowboys. 94 speed, 93 zone, 92 power. Really good. I just wish he had a power up or at least a little bit more zone. He would have got 99 zone. Another Roy Williams, wide receiver for the Lions. Not sure if that's a mistake. That's a real guy. I really, <laughs> I've never heard of this guy. Probably just me, though. 94 speed. Um, all all through all route running thresholds, all catching thresholds, 94 speed. Really good wide receiver. Shane Graham, kicker for the Bengals. 92 kick power. 94 kick accuracy, 95 awareness, pretty good. Tony Dorsett will be our final guy here, halfback for the Cowboys. 94 speed, 95 excel, 94 change of direction, 86 truck. 
Then for Brick Tag, gonna have like a Saquon Barkley esque card, like mid high truck, everything else really great. Not a bad card, Swish had a power. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the notification bell, like the video, and of course, if you guys want to pick up these campus heroes today, use code Poodle for 30% off and pick up some coins. I'm out. Peace.